Let's take a look at the advanced routing features offered by Laravel 9. If your route only needs to return a view, use the route view method and pass the view name as the second parameter. Additionally, you can pass data down to the view using the optional third parameter. To mark a route parameter as optional, simply append a question mark at the end. In your callback, you can give default values to optional parameters. You can use regular expressions to restrict the format of your route parameters. Using the WHERE method, you can, for example, force the route parameters to be numerical. You can provide multiple formats for each route parameter, for example, adding a name parameter and forcing it to be letters only. Laravel comes with convenient helpers for the most common patterns, so we can transform this example into something like this. Also, in the boot method of the route service provider, you can define global constraints for all of your routes. In this way, the pattern will be automatically applied to all routes using this parameter name. Use the route controller method to group routes to specified controller classes. This is especially handy with resource controllers. You can combine this with group names and prefixes. When using implicit binding, soft deleted methods will not be retrieved. To change this behavior, use the with trash method. When you have multiple implicit bindings in your route, they are not tied to each other. In this example, both bindings work separately, meaning that you can request a post that does not belong to a user. You can tell Laravel to scope child bindings with the scope bindings method. Now, if you try to request a post that does not belong to a user, you get a 404 HTTP response. Speaking of 404 responses, Laravel will throw this type of response when the record from the implicit binding is not found. If you want to change this behavior, use the missing method. The callback function will handle the request if the model is missing. You can use enums instead of models for your implicit bindings. Just create an enum definition like this, and then type hint the enum class into your route callback function, just like you would do with models. If the value of the parameter is not defined in the enum, Laravel will return a 404 HTTP response. You can customize the search logic for your implicit bindings in two ways. Inside the route service provider boot method, 
use route bind and pass the parameter name and a callback function. In here, you return the query that is executed against the database using the value passed in the route. You can also do this inside your model class. Use the resolve route binding method to customize the binding search logic. And that's it for now. If you found something helpful in this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and consider subscribing as well. It really does help out. I'll see you in the next one.